welcome back. You're still watching the morning show here on Arise News. And joining us now is OG Okwi with stories trending around the world. Hey, OG. Good, Good morning, morning Leila. Welcome back. Thank you. Good morning, Rufai. Good morning. Thank you. Good morning. I got the worst. Good morning. Yes. <laughs> but, uh, I got the worst. I thanks for the skin. And, and you got Skittles. Oh, I got Skittles, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 doing? Hi, darling. <laughs> That's much better. <laughs> and good morning to you, viewers. We begin what's trending today with an exciting news under entertainment. The Nigerian Oscars Selection Committee has selected Genevieve Naji's Lion Heart as Nigeria's submission to the international feature film category of the 2020 Oscars. The committee announced the selection yesterday following a statutory vetting and subsequent voting of entries received from Nigerian filmmakers at home and abroad. Lionheart is Genevieve Naji's directorial debut. It premiered at the 2018 Toronto International Film Festival and got featured at the, as the first Netflix original film produced in Nigeria and the first Nigerian film to be entered for the Oscars. The movie tells the story of a young woman, Adeze Obiago, played by Genevieve Naji, who becomes saddled with the responsibility of running her sick father's business under the suffocating supervision of an uncle, played by Nke Mowo. Let's take a look, quick. The biggest legacy I will leave for posterity is you, my daughter. I think you're going to be a very good MD, Ma. My father is still very much alive, aren't you? You must be a proud father. Of course, I'm immensely proud of my daughter. She's uh, her father's daughter. Hey! Chief! Chief! Chief. Uh, Daddy, what's wrong? My uh, deepest condolences. Uh, sorry, my uh, best wishes. Will you man won't be on it. Well, I don't know why you're... The lion heart will have to soldier on until I get back on my feet. I now name my replacement. Chief God's will. The don't do His reasons have nothing to do with you being a woman. Your uncle is just here to supervise. I'm going to change a lot of things in this establishment. So given our current situation, can you tell us how bad the numbers are? Bad. Lionheart is in severe debt. 950 million naira. What? and now it's time to pay up. In 30 days. Or risk losing everything. If we have to fight this war, we have to fight it together, unless we want to lose. It is no more a secret that I have an interest in Lionheart. And if this Igwe Pascal of a man gets a hold of our company, everyone will lose their jobs. And they're all depending on me, and I feel like I'm failing. Hey, no! No! You're a businesswoman. You've always been able to do anything you put your mind to. We're so excited. This is a big deal for Nigeria. Thumbs up to Jenny. Thumbs up for the whole entire crew. Yeah. I mean, you remember that Risa was like about two weeks ago that the yeah. committee, yeah. Re, you know, reformed the 12-member team, yeah. Yeah. and so you know, like the voting and the vetting process happened at home and abroad, yeah. and they were able to select this one film to enter into the Oscars. Now yeah. the nomination process still has to go through, yeah. but we're just keeping our fingers no, crossed. No, this is for just this. such amazing news. Yeah. It'll be Good such news. a huge coup <laughs> if we get the list no, of yeah. Oscar nominations yeah. and this movie from Nigeria yeah. is yeah. one of them. Yeah. 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 I, I mean, w when you look at the international category, mm -hmm. it's a category that the Latin American people have always, Spanish yes, content right. have always, you know, done very well at. And in but, the, and, uh, and the and India as and well, India, India and China. But, so. but, I, but I see we should be able to do something. I mean, it's a very inspiring story. It pretty yes. much reminds me of Slumdog Millionaire. You know, yeah, that out of that. nowhere came and, you know, cutting everything away at the Oscars. It, it is possible. This is a we huge step for Nigeria, a huge right. step for Nollywood, yeah. and we're yeah. so excited. Honestly. Let's head over to the U.S. to a case that has got some people on social media outraged. A jury yesterday sentenced Amber Gaia, an ex-police officer who shot an innocent black man in his home to only 10 years in prison. Botham Jean was watching television on his couch and eating vanilla ice cream when Amber Gaia walked into his home 
and shot him in cold blood on September 6, 2018. Lawyers for Zhijin family have described the unanimous verdict as a landmark in the national fight to hold police accountable for the killings of unarmed black people. In an extraordinary scene from the courtroom, a few minutes after the sentence was handed out, the victim's brother, Brandt, said he forgave Gaia. I mean, I forgive you. And I know if you go to God and ask him, he will forgive you. And I don't think anyone could say it. Again, I'm speaking for myself, not even bad for my family. But I love you just like anyone else. And I'm not going to say I hope you rot and die just like my brother did, but I see, I, I personally want the best for you. And I, I wasn't going to ever say this in front of my family or anyone, but I don't even want you to go to jail. I want the best for you. Because I know that's what that's exactly what both of them would want you to do. I don't know if this is possible, but can can I give her a hug, please? Please? Yes. An extraordinary moment. Oh, this is about the most powerful thing I've seen yeah. ever. I mean, I, I followed that story, and I followed it when it started. You have a right to hate. You have a right to be upset. Mm -hmm. But also, this shows all of us that love trumps it all. Absolutely. You know, he wasn't saying that thing because he has healed. He was saying it out of He's pain. He's in pain. Mm -hmm. He's in pain, it's but pain. he has weighed both options. Would I allow hate and hurt prevail over me, or I'll allow love? To prevail and let go, and that's yeah. why he did that. I mean, Absolutely. I, I, my first reaction was, oh, the white people are it again, and things like that. Remembering uh, Diallo, yes, and the likes of all the kids yes. like that. Yes, but for millions of people show watching this, it has shown us that love should prevail over hate. Yes, and, but and then we also should talk about that conversation about how these um, police officers just go on and get away with things like this. I mean, 10 years in it's, prison. It's a light it's, sentence. It's, 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 it's such a light. light. I mean, the boy was shot in the chest. In the like, chest, it wasn't yeah. even like in, in his own home. That was, I mean, it was... It was Where um, does it end? It was really a, a, a sad story. But I, like you I, said, I, really a, a powerful statement. I just hope just some people the in the law. KKK see that. Yeah. I just hope no, but the that. same with the Charleston murderer who yeah. went and killed people in Bible study. Their families the immediately, families forgave, immediately him. forgave him. Yes. They immediately came out to say they forgive what he did. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Can we take the final story under fashion? Um, I want to just take one more story real quick. Let's take one story under fashion before we, um, before we go. So our story today, the business of fashion, had their annual gala on Tuesday night. Supermodel Naomi Campbell and the organization's founder, Imran Ahmed, were in attendance. This year, the BOF named the editor of Genevieve magazine, Betty Rabo, and designer Kenneth Easy as one of the top 500 people shaping the fashion industry. The BOF 500 is a definitive professional index of the people shaping the $2.4 trillion fashion industry. They are hand-selected by the editors of the Business of Fashion, which is based on hundreds of nominations received from the current BOF 500 members. Extensive data analysis and research. I, mean, I wanted to take the story yesterday so badly because it was I mean, I know, such a, <laughs> it, It's such a great honor, and I'm saying yes. congratulations out to Betty. I know Betty Rebel yes. personally, you know. Uh, very warm person, and I see she's what she's, she's done for fashion. Yeah. And I see how she's helped push fashion on the landscape. I mean, a lot of people do not know that Maya Tafo actually did work for Genevieve Magazine at its early yes, days. Yes, that's, that's and, correct. And he anchored, you know, the, the fashion beat of Genevieve Magazine. Right. And it's really amazing. And Kenneth Eze, if yeah. you remember, yes. the, uh, during Arise Fashion Week, exactly. won the designer of mm -hmm. the year. Yeah. And this is such a huge inclusion for yeah. Africa and Nigeria that's as well. Amazing. There were other, I think there were about four other, Af four or eight other Africans that were put in that whole memory. 
remember that whole collection. Absolutely so, huge amazing. thumbs up to Nigeria once again mm -hmm. for this it's whole. Great to um, end the show. It's yes, good. I know. Yeah. I wanted to do that. <laughs> because Nigeria because got the, the fashion it's map, on the, map, on the film, the film map, map as well. Yes. So. Thank you, Oji. Thank, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.